if that's, yeah, I don't know if Mark's going to be coming up and down the stairs. I don't know if right back out and slams the door shut. Okay. Now, let's... He doesn't hear the door yet. Oh, now it has. Here we go. So go ahead and close the door like you're not going to take them. If I, if you want to come through, and I'll. just yeah rode in the car and just basically rested and, okay. you know of course when we stop to get out he wants to get out but um and i get i usually walk him and, and uh, then he goes back in and and then once we were home last night he just slept he just curled up in yeah. bed right here and then even this morning um when i got up i go in the front room and uh, usually watch some programs i've taped and have my coffee he came and laid right next to me and he just slept for a good hour until I was ready to get up and around. And, this uh, morning? Yeah, yeah, so he just, he was exhausted. Does he look at the attention he's putting on to, he's focused on upstairs. We've been, since, probably for the last hour before you came, we've been working with him with the treats and having him sit and, good. you know, settling. He is starting to respond a little more um, to us because we haven't really done anything because we just, didn't know what to do mm -hmm. and again mm -hmm. this is all new a normal life in this house is he me and the dog right nobody's right. coming in and out right and our de our dealing has always been just when we need to leave we needed to learn how can we leave that he's right not going. but now that there's all this 
this is a whole new picture for him. That he's totally just focused on what's going on upstairs now. He was laying down. Well, before you came, he was finally mm -hmm. laying down there, just laying calmly. And then we saw you come, so I went to go. And then <laughs> he was fine till I got to the door, and then that was it. So you can get up and walk around. You just can't. Oh, yeah. You can't yeah. head to oh, the yeah. doors. Oh yeah, we're just wandering around. So he'll if follow. If, yeah, if it's just us and um, okay, so I'm getting dressed and I'm in and out of the bathroom. He just knows the keys of when mm -hmm. some when I'm gonna leave or if we're gonna leave. I'm either dealing up my purse. I go in there, comb my hair. Once he hears the hairspray, that's it. He knows. Okay, right. we're going out. Mom's spraying that nest of hers. And then he just starts getting barky and following. And then, of course, then I've tried to learn to get the Kong prep, like mm -hmm, you said, mm -hmm. get those, put them in the freezer. Because once he knows that's there, then his whole focus is at that counter where the Kong's laying to the back. Okay. Until we leave. He's just like at the counter. And then, like, well, are you going to go yet? Are you going to? I want that Kong. And then, of course, but then when we go to But he go, still chases you to the door. He still chases to the door. We put the Kong down. So we can Stop get to the door, it. and but as soon as we start, then he's at that door. We wiggle our way through, and you saw how he does, and he right. gets between the legs. And then we shut the door, and of course you see him bob up and down, but yep. then he immediately goes back, gets the Kong. By then we're, and then we hear the barking stop. We get in the car, because usually we have our car out back here. And then he will, um, it's usually quiet. We don't know how long he's quiet, we assume. Mm -hmm. You know, I know... I don't know, one time Diane had said it was summertime and she was on her on the porch out there and we had gone one day and this was a year or so ago and she said he barked a good part of that day. But, um, you know, she's never really said anything more since then, mm -hmm. so I don't okay. know. So we don't know, but we assume he then just settles down once he knows he's home. Let's have the... Um can you just ask the worker to come down in a few minutes and leave? Okay. You can let him go while she goes up there. Just see what he does. So you just want him to be able to just go outside? Yep, after you come minutes. down, you know, have him, I don't know, count yeah, to 60 or something. For yep. A couple minutes and then come back in. Yeah, yeah, yep, absolutely. Okay, so he'll come down and look at that. He didn't even give up. But see, now you're here, so he's probably trying to take care of two birds, one stone. Mm -hmm. I got a stranger here, there's one upstairs. Well, then we'll go after he gets up to the Yep. Just so he can get out, yeah. With so my his on leash behavior is worth videoing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the fact that he's just standing there and um, not relaxing, really, mm -hmm. not laying down. He just, uh, he's on guard. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. You're working hard, huh, buddy? There's so much going on. <laughs> Way too much. But yeah, he was more responsive this morning. Like I say, we've never really sat and worked with him with mm -hmm. treats and stuff, and that is helping. Um, and he's doing pretty good. So yeah, so once we get beyond this stage, I yeah, it would be good to know the different things to do to get him to learn quiet mm -hmm. and um, all that stuff, the right terminology. Doggies too, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Mike, out of all the workers, he, he does very well with Mike, but Mike has a couple of dogs, and Mike has taken his time. He'll, he'll get down to it because he's a tall guy, mm -hmm. and he'll get down to Bailey's level and talk and stuff. So he's pretty good with Mike. He, I don't think he likes our plumbers, so that's okay. They're not going to be around much more. And the electrician, he's an older guy, and he always makes a point of trying to talk to him and, and stuff, and he seems okay. But still, as soon as they're in and out the door, it's just, he does really good with Mike. Likes Mike. Likes Mikey. Mm -hmm. I'm just totally focused on stairs. It was interesting though that he didn't follow up. I didn't have a home. No, I know. Yeah, yeah it's hard to say whether he thought he was. Were you able to get Dr. Cook's office to fax over? Uh, the, I didn't have to call. When I, I called after you left, I immediately called the Nashua, Dr. Paul's yep. office. And that girl, that her assistant, said she would get in touch with Dr. Cook to fax it oh, over. Great. So I'm hoping that he got on that right away. Yeah, I, it was amazing they could do the appointment so quick, so mm -hmm. I, I napped it. So we go tomorrow at one thirty for two hours. Mm -hmm. Be interesting. Without the online, well, I sent you a copy of. Yep, the I didn't print it out That's yet. Good. Yeah. <laughs> interesting to me is that it doesn't matter that you're both still here. No. No, look, you just came in. <laughs> yes, Mike, Mike came in.
Hi, buddy. Hello. Hello. How are you? That's all very interesting. Ew, it's like an <laughs> 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 